Have you ever looked at a German calendar and thought to yourself, what's the deal with Wednesday? All the other names of the days of the week look at least a bit similar to their English names, but Mittwoch and Wednesday are completely different. Well, Saturday is also a bit strange, especially if you're in northern or eastern Germany, but we'll get to that in a bit. But first, let's ask ourselves, where do the names of the days of the week come from? It actually goes all the way back to the ancient Babylonians, who were pioneers in astronomy. They identified seven planets, although of course we now know that one of them is the Moon and another one is the Sun. But to the Babylonians, they were all just moving lights in the sky. The Babylonians arranged these planets in order slowest to fastest and then assigned each to successive hours of the day. So Saturn ruled for an hour and then Jupiter ruled for the next hour and so on. And then they applied this to the seven day week. Each day was named after the planet that ruled the first hour of that day. So they began with the first planet, Saturn, and named the day that began with that hour the day of Saturn. Now, each day has 24 hours, so if you cycle through the hours, the next day begins with an hour that is ruled by the Sun. The ancient Israelites also used the seven-day week, but it began with Sunday, which they called the first day. They then numbered the next days, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and then the last day was the Sabbath, or Shabbat as it probably should be pronounced, the day of rest. The ancient Greeks took the Babylonian idea and translated the names of the days of the week into Greek using their names for the planets, which of course also represented some of their gods. And anything the Greeks could do, the Romans could do better. And they translated the Greek names into Latin by substituting in the names of their gods. The Roman system was also adopted by the Germanic cultures who named the days of the week after the Germanic gods that most reminded them of the corresponding Roman gods except for Saturn, which was left untranslated. We think this is quite simply because they had no matching god. So in Old English, spoken by Anglo-Saxons more than a thousand years ago, the days of the week were Sunnendai, Mornendai, Tiwasdai, Wodnesdai, Thunrasdai, Freyasdai, and Saturnasdai. And you can very clearly see how well they have survived into the modern day. Most of the German names are similar. Dienstag is a bit tricky, but that ultimately goes back to an alternative name for the god Tu. Donnerstag is easy to remember because the god Thunor, also known as Thor, was the god of thunder. But Zamstag? Well, that probably goes back to the colloquial Greek sambaton, which is just a slightly different way of pronouncing sabbaton, which ultimately goes back to Sabbath. So, Zamstag is the Hebrew Sabbath day in disguise. At least, that's his name in most of the German-speaking world. In northern and eastern parts of Germany, including Berlin, it's Sonnabend, which translates as Sunday Eve the day before Sunday. So why did they ditch Saturn? In a word, Christianity. And that also explains Mittwoch. When Christian missionaries spread through Europe, they didn't like the way that the locals used the names of pagan gods, and so they tried to change the names of the days of the week. For example, the first day of the week was the Lord's Day, which you can still see in, for example, modern Italian, Domenica. But people don't usually like being told what to do, and they preferred the traditional names, so the missionaries were only partly successful. In German, the only two that stuck were Mittwoch for the middle day of the week, and Samstag, the Sabbath day. But Andrew, I hear you cry, surely the first day of the week is Monday. Well, it is now, but originally it was Sunday. In East Germany, it was officially switched to Monday in 1969, but in West Germany, they had to wait until 1975 with the introduction of industry standard DIN 1355-1. And yes, this is absolutely genuine, I am not making this up. And then in 1988, the international standard ISO 8601 made Monday the first day of the week for everybody. And again, I am not making this up, but it does mean that Mittwoch is no longer the middle of the week. And before you all rush to the comment section to point out that it is still the middle of the working week, no, 
Not even that, because in Germany, Saturday officially counts as a work day. And you can tell because it's actually possible to buy groceries on a Saturday. Look, at least... By substituting in the names of stairs. How? So the 